Almost two months ago, Horizon Forbidden West's upcoming DLC, The Burning Shores, was announced with an amazing reveal trailer and promotional art. These, however, posed more questions for me than they provided answers. Questions like what leads Aloy to the ruins of Los Angeles in the first place, who this mysterious character could be, who or what could possibly be controlling the reanimated Horus Titan, and of course, what will actually take place and be uncovered in the DLC. But what if we already had those answers more than three years ago? I'm Noxious, and in this video we're going to dive into the potential story of the Burning Shores DLC. Fair warning, while this video is speculative, it may pose significant spoilers for the DLC's story. There is a very real possibility that the plot of the Burning Shores DLC was already leaked over three years ago in this Reddit post. Now before I get started, let me preface by saying that normally, I wouldn't give two thoughts about a random leak post on Reddit as most are just downright fake. In fact, this could be as well. However, there are a few things about this post that stand out to me and lead me to believe that it could be true. The post states that the title of Horizon Forbidden West was initially Horizon Singularity, that we would see enhanced climbing mechanics and a grappling hook, the story would center around capturing Hephaestus in some sort of processor cage while also fighting off a contemporary existential threat, and that we would see a living BOR7 Horus Titan. Now let me mention, this leak was posted well before Horizon Forbidden West had even been formally announced. While we all know the title was wrong, it's interesting to see the proposed title mirrored in the name of the final mission of Horizon Forbidden West, Singularity. The leak was, however, completely correct in regards to enhanced climbing mechanics, the grappling hook, the proposed plot, and while we didn't see a living Horus Titan in the base game, we now know that we will be seeing one in the Burning Shores. Ultimately, these consistencies lead me to believe that this supposed leak has some credence. Curiously, that isn't where the leak ends. In fact, this is where it starts getting really juicy. The details that follow reveal story elements that we have yet to see in the base game and therefore may just be the plot of the Burning Shores DLC. According to the post, after Hephaestus is captured, Aloy returns to the Embrace to find it occupied by an unknown tribe known as the Oshawa. The Oshawa hail from the southwest, specifically the Mojave Desert region in Southern California. Let's stop to quickly examine the name Oshawa. We know that current human tribes base their cultures heavily on what they find in the remains of the Old World. It would then make sense that the Oshawa may have based their tribe name on Joshua Tree National Park, which resides in the southern end of the Mojave Desert. The post goes on to characterize the Oshawa as being significantly more technical technologically advanced than previously known tribes. Perhaps this unknown character seen in the promotional art is a member of that tribe. It is not Talana, and I'm not entirely convinced they're Quen. Anyways, the tribe's sole purpose of coming to the Embrace is to capture Aloy and bring her back to their homeland, which is where the remainder of the story will take place. We already know, thanks to the trailer, that the DLC will take place in Southern California since we see what remains of Los Angeles. The Mojave Desert and Joshua Tree National Park are located just due east east of Los Angeles making this detail seem highly probable. Now this is where the leak gets even more interesting. Aloy discovers that the Oshawa tribe is ruled by a mysterious AI simply known as the Silver One. Sounds eerily similar to Vast Silver, doesn't it? This entity has provided the tribe with their advanced technology and allowed them to completely subjugate the local machine population. It is revealed to Aloy that the Oshawa tribe are attempting to repair and reawaken a dormant BOR7 Horus Titan for the Silver One to inhabit and therefore expand its rule and influence. At the Silver One's command, the tribe had captured Aloy to bring before it so that it could bargain with her to assist it in its mission with the promise of equal rule over this proposed kingdom. Perhaps it learned of her genetic match with Elizabeth Sobek and her newly acquired Omega level clearance. Aloy of course refuses, proceeds to escape, and the remainder of the story involves raising up a resistance to fight the Silver One, the Oshawa tribe, and stop the reactivation of the Horus Titan. Aloy will also have to free Silence at some point as he had been imprisoned after after trying to negotiate with the Silver One for information. Seems pretty on par with Silent's motivations, wouldn't you say? Given what we know about this DLC so far, which admittedly isn't much, this leaked plot seems to line up pretty well. It is worth mentioning that the AI Vast Silver has shown up a handful of times in the deep lore of Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, however we have yet to see or encounter it ourselves. Let me be transparent. This leak and my subsequent theory are completely at odds with my previous video theorizing that Vast Silver is never Nemesis. If you haven't already, you can check out that video here. Now, assuming this leak is correct, I of course started to speculate and theorize as to where this story would lead us going forward into the third and possibly final installment of the Horizon franchise. We know that we will be facing Nemesis in the sequel, a singularity with unfathomable power on a collision course with humanity. I have long pondered how on earth 
literally, Aloy could possibly stop it. Since the beginning, I have been under the impression that the answer to this lied in either recapturing or allying ourselves with Hephaestus and or gaining control over the dormant Pharaoh Swarm. This would give Aloy the raw power and numbers needed to hold back or delay Nemesis's onslaught. The question that I kept coming back to was then, how exactly would Aloy gain control over the Pharaoh Swarm? At this point, Hades has been wiped out, and Gaia, even with Hephaestus on board, is not an AI experienced in war. I honestly couldn't even see Gaia having the ability to be violent in the first place. So then how, again, would Aloy gain control over the Pharaoh Swarm? Well, if this leak is true, the answer seems obvious. Vast Silver. Many have assumed and speculated that Vast Silver was the source of the glitch that caused the Pharaoh Swarm to go rogue in the first place. It may have even been in direct control of the Swarm. While the leak sets up Vast Silver to be the main antagonist, I think that ultimately Aloy and Vast Silver will come to some sort of alliance against Nemesis. Aloy is very headstrong, but Silence may be able to convince her to think more logically about the bigger picture and the potential benefit of teaming up with Vast Silver against Nemesis. This would require Aloy to try trust Silence and take a gamble on his proposition, which would show great character development between the two. While the Burning Shores trailer leads us to believe that the reawakened Horus is a bad omen, perhaps it is actually Aloy's intention as she helps Vast Silver regain control over the dormant Pharaoh Swarm. I would go as far as to theorize that it could be one of the final scenes from the DLC that sets up the sequel. I liken it to the scene in Return of the King where Aragorn bargains with the dead army to join their fight against the forces of Mordor. How awesome would that be? It would definitely build up hype for the sequel. As with all supposed leaks on the internet, we have to take this one with a massive grain of salt. Only time will tell if this leak has any merit. April 19th can't come soon enough. I would love to hear what you think. Do you think that this leak may be true? If not, what do you think will happen in the DLC and the sequel? Let me know in the comments below. I had an absolute blast making this video. I really hope you liked it and that I sparked your curiosity and imagination. If you did enjoy it, it would mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button, share it with your friends and check out some of my other videos. Once again, I'm Noxious Asp. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.